Good day, thinkers, thought leaders, progressives, and dreamers. I'm Craig the Writer Stewart, and this is So Much to Say YouTube TV. These are my thoughts in my voice on black shit, white shit, gay shit, and everything in between. Now, So Much to Say YouTube TV is the place that you come to learn and grow. So go ahead and hit the like button, the share button, and the subscribe button. And turn on that little bell so that you get a notification every single time that I go live or I upload something new. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, Amelia Bedelia. What's going on? Nothing on the couch. <laughs> what I, time is it? It is um, 12.36, so it's 6.36 where you are. Uh. I went to the gym and took myself to dinner. And... Um, This gentleman at the restaurant was kept looking back at me, right? He was sitting with, with, with his friend, a female. And he kept looking back at me. And I was on the phone with Elliot at one point. And so he kept like looking back. And so then they went outside because they went outside to smoke. And then, so you know, that, that right away was given very much, oh yeah, I don't do smoking. And mind you, he's talking in French. And then, you know, I'm telling him that I'm American. And he asked me what city was I from, from, and you know, just all of that stuff. He asked me why was I there? How long was I there? Was I there for work? Just blah, 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 blah. At some point he asked me if I wanted a, a, a drink. And he went and got the server and had them get me another drink, but told them to put it on his bill. All right. Hello? I like my brush in here. Decide. We're talking, so then she comes back in and he introduces me to her and she starts speaking in French, but then, he, you know, she tell, he tells her that I'm American. Hey. So then he tells me that he's gay also. Sir, I already gathered that, okay? I'm downstairs to get my little breakfast that I ordered. He turned around here grinning and looking at my goddamn face. There are certain words that don't translate into French or it's just too literal. Like, Miss Thang and bitch and, and girl. And, like, they're not gonna say Madame. They, they're, not, they're not giving that. At this point, he asked for my number. Yeah. I gave my number. She speaks Arabic, French, and obviously English. Because she says all of this in French. She tells me that she has two daughters. One is 15 and one is nine. They speak Arabic, French. They're learning English and Chinese in school. All right. Got my little order. She said her husband is French, so he speaks to them only in French. And she speaks to them only in Arabic. She said that's the way it's always been. From when, they, when she's talking to them, she speaks to them in Arabic, but they respond in French. But then when they go to Morocco, they speak in, in Arabic. It's by the age of five, between three and five. You gotta get it. He said, if, she said, if you can get them, if you can get somebody to learn it by five, they got it. That's why it's so important, especially for black children. Like, it's just like a friend of mine, she was telling me last night that this gay couple that we know, they're teaching their daughter. They want her to learn Spanish. And so, and she was taking Mandarin. She was learning Mandarin. And she's, she young like that. She's, she probably like two, she's two. And they hired a nanny. But part of the reason that they hired the nanny was because they wanted her to only speak to her in Spanish. Well, they've been looking at the camera, this bitch speaking to the girl in English. I ordered a, 
acai bowl. And I ordered some banana nut bread and some carrot cake. They're so cute. Look at the way they packaged that in there. What is this? Oh, this is my sandwich that I ordered. Bro, you had one job. <laughs> And I've always said, like, if I had kids, I would definitely have, I would have done the same thing. I would have had a nanny or, you know, come and only speak to the kid in Spanish. We would talk to her in English, or him or her in English. That's a gift. Now, that's what you give a child. They, they have a head start in life. You know, they have a head start in life because you thought enough of them to be proactive enough to say, you know what? This is going to benefit her and her, him or her in her life, in their life. Because I've made, I've had so many revelations since I've been here. And I think a lot of this stuff I'm probably going to download from my brain once I'm back. And that's kind of like, and I, and I thought about the United States. That's pretty much where we're headed. And that's what. I can see that. Yeah. And that's why them white folks are losing their goddamn minds over there. They want to be able to put you in the category. Black gay community is, um, there's, there's some differences that I see. It's not as polarized from what I can see, but that might be because the group that I'm with or have been connected with, they ball kids. And you know, in that ball scene, you got trans and gay and it's all blended up. I showed y'all the elevator, didn't I? It feels like it's not as polarized over here. We're over there. The trans girls are over here. The gay, the gay boys are over here. You know what I'm saying? It's very separate. Even when you think about like how the clubs were back home, like it was just the trans girls didn't come to the places with the, that the boys went to. Back at home, the gay boys are just now starting to embrace the trans girls. They were ostracized by gay men. Good day, thinkers, thought leaders, progressives, and dreamers. I'm Craig the Writer Stewart, and I'm inviting you to join my Patreon. Don't know what a Patreon is? It's my official video diary with only exclusive content that you won't see anyplace else. It's easy to join. Just visit patreon.com forward slash Craig the Writer Stewart. Here's what you'll find on my Patreon. A day in my life, whether that's dinner with friends or a typical work day. Live Q&As with members of my Patreon about each episode of the T.S. Madison experience and what I was really thinking. I'll even bring you on vacation with me. The video will make you think that you are right there. And last but not least, for all of my aspiring writers, I give you firsthand, one-on-one, -on -one, personalized attention, answering all of your questions about publishing and self-publishing. So what are you waiting for? Join now. Swipe up or visit www.patreon.com forward slash Craig the Writer Stewart. I'll see you soon. Oh, and one more thing. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's youtube.com forward slash Craig the Writer. Do it now.